The seniors we feature come from a wide variety of backgrounds and excel in different things in different ways. But one thing they all have in common is that they won't be forgotten by their peers, their teachers, directors, coaches, or the underclassmen who learned from them. Sometimes they teach leadership, perseverance, devotion, and sometimes they remind us that high school can be fun. In this episode of Senior Spotlight, we travel to Jefferson High School, where one senior lights up every room she enters, and her positive influence is only beginning. Blocks, spikes, tips. Jefferson senior Nancy Peter is a force to be reckoned with in South Dakota High School Volleyball. She helped lead this team to a significant recent triumph. So far, so good. Uh, we just came off a Fargo tournament. Uh, we went 6-0, and ended up winning the championship. We had to get through a couple of really tough teams, including Lincoln, for the third time. Um, it's always hard to beat a team three times, so um, hopefully we don't have to ever play them a fourth because I think I'm running out of luck there. Um, and then we ended up winning the championship. We beat uh, uh, Bismarck Century, who is usually a state contender every year. And um, So yeah, good, good season so far. We've, we're coming up on uh, a couple of tough matches here and just hopefully getting as high as we can to better ourselves for seeding and postseason. I've been transitioning from like middles to right side. So this weekend I was playing right side and it was a pretty fun time. Um, all the girls and I, we just had a great time together, worked hard and we went 6-0 and all throughout the weekend and we took home the dove. Impressive for a team that's only in its second year of existence. Last year we were all young, brand new, so we returned everybody. Uh, we lost one senior last year, and this year we have six. We gained uh, a senior from a different school, so that brought a little bit more depth into the to the position she holds. But um, yeah, we we're loaded with seniors. We've got some pretty solid juniors that are in our starting lineup, and some sophomores and even freshmen that we've got a really tough freshman group. So it's. We might be young next year again, just trying to figure some things out, but the depth is definitely a lot better than it was last year. For the seniors on this team, like Nancy, the season and the off season are about leadership. For this year, for sure, it's just continuing that culture. Um, you know, we were the lucky, the lucky school that got to build it from the ground up. So um, that foundation needs to be strong, needs to stay strong and maintain um, the structure it is just, just to keep going. Um, we've got some solid leaders in this group, some girls that um, have no problem just being in line and, and doing the best that they possibly can in the role that they're in, uh, letting the other ones around them lead, which is good. You don't want too many cooks in the kitchen there. Um, but our junior class coming up is, uh, is pretty solid. They've been on the court now for two years. Next year will be their third. So we've, uh, we've got some top kids in the state, in my opinion. Expectations are mainly to always do what's right. Mainly the, the freshmen, they do look up to the varsity team. So a few things you have to do is make sure you're doing the right thing at all times, um, whether that's at practice or during the day at school. Um, I just try to be a good student and also be a great teammate for the rest of my teams. Being a great teammate means doing so in the eyes of coaches and players. A fine line that Nancy walks easily. Nancy brings a lot to the team and it's not just on the court. Uh, Nancy is probably one of my most fun kids to be around. She just, she's got this dynamic personality, fun-loving, goofy. Uh, she's got a smile that lights up the room. She is, she's goofy enough in practice to keep things light, but she's serious enough to remind us, you know, what the importance is. So, uh, no, Nancy's definitely one of, I think if you, if you asked every kid on my roster, their top two kids, Nancy would be in one of them, yep. Looking at this team, looking at Nancy's place on it, you'd probably never guess that up until last season, she'd never played volleyball, ever. The biggest thing with volleyball is she was brand new to the sport last season. Um, she's been playing for, you know, I guess a total of her life, like maybe six or seven months. And the amount of growth that she's made, not only physically, but mentally in the game. Um, it really it really shows what determination and hard work can kind of get you. And so I think a lot of the younger kids look up to her because they see her play, they see her hit a ball, they see her jump, and they go, oh, wow, she's been doing this for how long? And so I think, I think it perks some, some interest in some of those young kids to see really how far you can go. 
fun fact, two years ago, I was not doing volleyball. I was a cheerleader at Lincoln High School. So playing volleyball was not really, um, is not, wasn't for me. Um, my little sister, she was wanting to do volleyball, so I decided to do it with her. And um, look where I am now. It was probably, um, I would say it's her main support. Um, she helped me want to play volleyball throughout the two years. She was at Lincoln before uh, Jefferson opened, came here. And believe it or not, she was a cheerleader at Lincoln. Um, and I, I, I say that with love. I just look at her and she's 6'2 and long and jumps. And I just kind of thought, what are you thinking? So when she showed up in our gym in June last summer, um, I immediately got excited. And then she said, well, I've never played before. Oh, that's OK. You're a freshman, right? No, I'm a junior. Oh, Lord, what are you doing? Nancy knew what she was doing. She was looking for change. So she made some. Mainly I was like looking for something new. Um, mainly the people from Lincoln, I've known them since like sixth grade. And I just wanted to get a new feel for a new school. Um, also because it's like five minutes away from my house. Yeah, the transition here has been great. Um, I made a lot of new friends. Um, all the programs are great, teachers are great. Um, I'm happy with my decision, I moved here. Academically, Nancy is pushing herself with classes like accelerated pre-calculus, AP Chemistry, and AP Literature and Composition. She'll stay busy this year with basketball and track seasons coming up after volleyball ends. She's involved with Best Buddies, FCA, Black Student Union, Collision, Cancer Awareness Club, Student Council, and Link Crew. And through everything she does, she brings her own brand of positivity. Inclusiveness, um, there's never a kid who doesn't have a partner uh, when it comes to Nancy. She's, she's one of those that she just, anyone that needs anything, she's, she's willing to help out, she's willing to do for. Um, she's also one of those that she's the first to laugh at herself in an awkward situation. So there's a, there's a comfortability there that she brings to anybody who's, who's around her in an immediate friendship. It's going to sound cliche, but Nancy seriously is one of a kind. Um, she is somebody who just has an infectious personality that she usually walks in a room is smiling and immediately everybody else is smiling or she can walk in the room and she starts laughing and no one has any idea why she's laughing, but everybody's laughing. Um, so she's just somebody who for our basketball team is such a crucial role because she's just so positive. Um, she connects with all of our girls, you know, she's always there for them, supports them. Um, and in return, it's fun to see when she's successful, like our girls are just so excited for her in return because she gives that to them. Nancy is somebody, obviously she's somebody who's very tall, <laughs> plays post player with us, but you know, from volleyball and from track, she does um, high jump and long jump and triple and all those. But she's somebody who is a huge presence, you know, on the defensive end getting blocks for us, but also on offense and defense getting rebounds. You know, she can jump out of this gym and so um, her length is something that we have loved to utilize. Her quickness is something, you know, it's huge to have a post player that can run up and down the floor and run pretty quick. I mean, she takes a couple strides and she's there and sometimes you look like she's gonna dunk it, but um, but no, she's somebody, like I said, will play a role that way, but she does so much more on the energy too that she brings to our team. You know, she's one of the, you know, the heartbeat of our team that really helps that, that positive energy, that support that the girls need. And whenever you need a laugh, Nancy's for sure there to give you that laugh, so. Her extremely busy life doesn't get in the way of her helping others. Like in her second period class each day, Peer Insights. Peer Insights is basically like helping the Rice students in their classes. So um, this semester I have Nick Perez. Um, he's a pretty big person here at Jefferson. He does unified basketball. So basically my job is to like want to like help him to do other activities and just not just basketball. So we've done a few things like soccer, baseball, um, today we were playing dodgeball, which he looked like he was having fun with. We have one of our best buddy um, students that are in that class, and Nancy's there to aid and assist and help them. And, um, you know, she does it in, in such a way that I don't think people realize that's what she's there for. You know, she helps that student, but kind of does it from a farther distance where it doesn't seem like they need her or anything like that. Um, so it just kind of shows like her calling is to help people and um, she knows how to do it in a way that doesn't necessarily maybe put 
them in the spotlight with it, that they need that help, but she's there to assist them when they need it and you know, to be their friend as well. She can connect with anybody, so she connects with those best buddy students that she's working with or just randomly meeting somebody in the hall um, or coming into that classroom and not really knowing anybody. She's somebody that's easy to talk to. Um, you know, if somebody doesn't have a partner, she's you know, there to be their partner. Like I said, she's, she's one of a kind and you couldn't ask for a kinder heart. Someone who checks so many boxes undoubtedly has a great future ahead. She's really done a lot for herself and her future. I mean, she's going to Southwest Minnesota State. Um, Coach Tyler Body and I there have been, we've been talking ever since the day that they met. Um, they met Nancy at the tournament this summer. And just him and I together kind of collectively trying to mold her into the best that she can be so she's prepared for next year. But um, yeah, she just, fun loving, but just definitely one of those that was a surprise all around. Just. A welcome into our gymnasium for sure. She's going to be very successful at SMSU where she committed um, for volleyball and in sports. And I think there she'll have a huge impact again in the sports realm, but also um, in her involvement in the school because she loves um, doing that, that type of thing. Um, and I think wherever she you know, wound up, whether it was there or anywhere else, she's going to make a huge impact. Because again, like I said, she just, she does it and she does it in such an effortless way that um, you know that that's just what she's going to be her whole entire life is that positive person that can really change somebody's day or, or their life or whatever's going on in their life. I'm going to be going to SMSU to play volleyball and majoring in um, business and accounting. Um, I want to be an architect and interior designer. I really think the sky's the limit when it comes to this kid. Um, she's a really good student. She does what she has to do in the, in the classroom, but just her physicality in the gymnasium, I think it's one of those that it's, it's kind of bar none. Nobody's going to touch that. So if she wants to work really hard and she wants to continue to grow the game in herself, uh, mentality wise too, I, I mean, we could see her at the top of some stat boards next year in Division II um, and the next four years after. Until then, she'll keep leaving her mark right here. Honestly, I'm just trying to look to have the most fun this year. Um, knowing that's my last year playing two of those sports, I just want to have the most fun with it. Um, also, like having a great time with my teammates because most likely I won't see them again. So it's just like taking the time um, to its advantage and just hanging out with the rest of them. You know, not just the fact that she can um, cover so much ground um, in growth of the game just in, in the short amount of time that she did, but her personality. You know, she's just. She's just one of those fun-loving people that everybody kind of wants to be around. She's extremely contagious um, with that smile and just uh, it, just the goofiness that she brings to the team. And we always say we love our Nancy, and it's just you know she's just she's got her own title on our team. Uh, I really feel like we're going to lose a big void when when we lose her um, her next year, and it's not just going to be. Um, what she can do for us on the court and scoring points. It's going to be what she brings to the table in every other aspect. So last year there was a game, it was a JV game, and I can't remember exactly, I don't know if she was going up for a rebound or a layup, but she came down wrong and got hurt. Um, so the trainer took her off the court and you know, obviously we're concerned, so I had told the JV coach, you know, you continue coaching, I'll go check on her, and she's, <laughs> she's laying on the mat, and I'm like, how are you doing? She's like, Coach, I'm good, but my eyelashes, they fell off, so I don't know how I'm gonna do now. And I just died laughing. I'm like, this is typical Nancy, like taking the attention off of her pain or what she's going through to make somebody laugh. So, like I said, she just always keeps everybody laughing or smiling, and you could not ask for a better kid. Nancy's message to underclassmen? I hope they see that it's not always has to be as stressful as they seem. It just depends on the way you look at it and how you um, take your time and develop as a person. Um, I'm not going to lie, four years um, in high school isn't the easiest as it should be, but um, I just had help from other people and then just had fun while doing it. Her legacy of working hard, but also finding and bringing the fun, laughter, and smiles at Jefferson won't soon be forgotten. You know, you can tell when somebody is being kind because they have to and it's more forced and you never feel that with Nancy. It's just who she is. She genuinely is just a kind person that loves people, um, loves to be that positive, you know, person for them. You know, some people might be having a hard day and when you see Nancy or you're around her, she doesn't have to say anything and she just puts you in a better mood. And so I hope that's something that kids can 
can take away from her. You know, you never know what people are going through. You never know what type of day. And sometimes you smiling at them and saying nothing or just waving or, you know, something that's not even verbal can change their day and how they're feeling.